Welcome to the Mental Health in Black and White channel, where we unravel intricate mental health topics into easily digestible insights. I'm your host, Zen the Zebra. If you find this video intriguing or helpful, please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the intricate connection between attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and antisocial personality disorder. ADHD is a complex disorder characterized by symptoms such as inattention, hyperactivity, impulsivity, or a combination of these. It's divided into three subtypes, inattentive, hyperactive impulsive, and combined. While about 5% of children and 2.5% of adults are diagnosed with ADHD, it often co-occurs with other mental health conditions. Notably, ADHD is frequently comorbid with conduct disorder. Conduct disorder is characterized by aggressive and defiant behavior, often considered a precursor to antisocial personality disorder. This overlap creates a significant risk for individuals with ADHD to develop ASPD. ASPD, on the other hand, is a cluster B personality disorder with seven symptom criteria, including disregard for social norms, impulsivity, deceitfulness, and a lack of remorse. The prevalence of ASPD is estimated to be around 1 to 3% but it's much more common in forensic settings with a prevalence as high as 70 to 80%. Research suggests that the comorbidity between ADHD and conduct disorder is a strong predictor of developing ASPD. In fact, this combination seems to be a distinct subtype and might warrant its own classification. There are various pathways suggested in the progression from ADHD to ASPD. One pathway starts with ADHD, leading to oppositional defiant disorder known as ODD, then to conduct disorder, and ultimately to ASPD. Another pathway links ADHD directly to ASPD, with substance use disorder acting as a mediator between them. Disrupted parental discipline practices and proactive aggression are also considered mediators in the complex relationship. While there are various findings and patterns in the research, it's reasonable to conclude that ADHD is a risk factor for ASPD. Whether it is comorbid with conduct disorder or not, it seems to increase the risk of developing ASPD. However, it's essential to remember that not all individuals with ADHD will develop ASPD, and a risk factor doesn't guarantee a specific outcome. In light of the potentially severe consequences associated with ASPD, it's vital to continue researching the causes and connections between these disorders. Prevention and early intervention for ADHD may help mitigate the risk of developing ASPD. In summary, ADHD is primarily a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity, often beginning in childhood and affecting various aspects of daily functioning. ASPD, on the other hand, is a personality disorder marked by a pervasive pattern of disregard for the rights of others, with features like manipulation, deceit, and a lack of empathy. An illustrative example of the differences might look like as follows. Consider two individuals who are having difficulty maintaining employment. The first, who has ADHD, might struggle to stay organized, complete tasks on time, and focus during meetings, primarily due to difficulties in impulse control and executive functions. In contrast, the second individual with ASPD may have a history of manipulative behavior, dishonesty, and a disregard for the rights and well-being of colleagues, leading to job terminations stemming from their actions. Another example can be observed in academic performance. 
In a school setting, a child with ADHD might exhibit difficulties in maintaining attention during lectures, be easily distracted, and struggle to complete assignments on time. They might frequently misplace their belongings, such as books or homework, due to disorganization and impulsivity. In contrast, a student with antisocial personality disorder may engage in academic dishonesty, such as cheating on exams or plagiarizing with little remorse. They may exhibit disruptive behaviors in the classroom, including bullying or manipulation of peers. This often leads to disciplinary actions due to a disregard for rules and the rights of others. Our final example will include interpersonal relationships. An adult with ADHD might find it challenging to maintain healthy relationships due to impulsivity and difficulty with active listening. They may frequently interrupt conversations or forget important dates, causing frustration in their relationships. In contrast, an individual with antisocial personality disorder may have a history of manipulating and exploiting others for personal gain, such as engaging in fraud or using emotional manipulation to control partners. Their actions are often calculated and driven by a lack of empathy or concern for their well-being of others, leading to broken or strained relationships. These examples underscore the distinct nature of these disorders, with ADHD primarily characterized by difficulties in attention, impulse control, and executive functions, while antisocial personality disorder revolves around a pervasive disregard for societal norms and the rights of others, often resulting in manipulative and exploitive behaviors. Understanding these differences is essential for appropriate diagnosis, intervention, and support. In conclusion, we hope this information has been informative and helpful in understanding the differences between various mental health conditions. If you found this content valuable, we encourage you to engage with our community. Please consider leaving a comment to share your thoughts or questions. Hit the like button if you found this content helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with our latest insights. To receive instant notifications for future content, be sure to click the notification bell. And for those looking to take their wellness journey further, be sure to download our workbook to continue your path towards improved mental health and a better understanding of these complex conditions. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to supporting you on your journey to well-being.